Hey folks, Gerald Witt here with the new Sentinel. Um, coming at you with some wildly, potentially accurate, somewhat qualified prognostications for today's election. It is a primary for state and federal offices in Knox County and across Tennessee. It is a local election day for Knox County Commission and School Board. Um, some of the races that most folks are paying attention to are the local Knox County Commission races and of course the 18th District Tennessee House race between incumbent Martin Daniel, Steve Hall Challenger, who he beat a couple of years ago, James Corcoran, and Brian Dodson. We'll get back to that four-way race in just a minute. Talking with some of my friends in the Republican Party, they're hoping for a sweep today locally. Uh, Knox County Commission is GOP heavy. They've got two seats that are not Republican. The Democrats are looking to hang on in the first and second district. I think they're going to lose one today. In the first, they'll hang on with Evelyn Gill against um, Michael uh, Covington and Tyrone Lamar Fine. But I think Michelle Carringer will win the second. A Republican comes in there. She's run several races. She'll finally get her seat. Picks off Laura Kildare. Hugh Nystrom will win in the fourth against Marlene K. Davis. I think that's going to be kind of a 60-40 sort of win. John Schoonmaker will hang on, I think, in the 5th, a deeply conservative West Knox County um, area. Brad Anders will win the 6th in the landslide. He's really well known in that district. Uh, Dave Wright will hang on against Independent Don Weiser in the East Knox County 8th District. And Carson Daly, a newcomer, I think will hold off a three-way race among uh, Brandon Hamilton and Tom Pierce. Now, uh, getting back to the first, uh, Michael Covington, Evelyn Gill, they've run a really interesting race. Evelyn Gill won a Democratic primary. Uh, some folks didn't think that she had the horsepower to win the primary, but here she is in the general election. Um, that has been a deeply held uh, Democratic seat for, for a number of years. I think it'll stay that way. Um, 70, 30, maybe turnout on that. Speaking of turnout, I was talking with a friend of mine in one of their local Republican parties, and I think that our turnout is going to be somewhere around the neighborhood of 15%. It's really hot outside today. Folks are going to stay home. Um, and a lot of folks didn't even know there was a local election going on. So uh, I'll take that over under at 15 and I'm just going to make things interesting and take the under. Uh, getting back to the 18th district. Uh, there was a little bit of a shoving match a couple of weeks ago between uh, Martin Daniel and Steve Hall. Actually, there was just one shove. But uh, I think that that may have soured enough voters to want to re-elect Steve Hall. Um, James Corcoran and Brian Dodson have made the race interesting, but I think they're gonna wind up with the minority of the votes. Now, we're gonna be covering this all throughout the day, keeping you guys up to date on uh, what's happening. Uh, I'll be downtown with uh, Republicans and, and visiting with some Democrats to look at some local races. Uh, follow us at Knox News on Twitter, or uh, Polita Knox, which is gonna have some of the, the more up-to-the-minute observations and so on. Or you can just follow me, I'm GWET at Twitter. And also, be sure to check us out at knoxnews.com for updates throughout the day and tomorrow. That's it. Thanks a lot. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments.